sing. Oh, I know. Passes and cream. I sing of a county of pasties and cream, of filtered and herring that sparkle and gleam in the dear old county of Cornwall, the land of pasties and cream, the land of the miners and fishermen bold, the land of the smugglers in stories of old, where men go a courting and maids are not called. In the dear old county of Cornwall, 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 the dear old county of Cornwall, passing and green, tears of stream, hills of herring and sparkle and gleam, going way We've had our passes and cream, our bellies are full. And guess what? This program's about Cornwall. I'm going to travel from the Tamar, well, St. Germans, to as far as anybody would want to go, the Silly Isles. Well, they like it called the Isles of Silly. I'm going to ride a silly gig on the sea. I'm going to sing about the sea. And we'll meet some of the men who spent their lives working in China clay. And I'm going to have a drink with the devil. Dirty deeds. But before all that, to the dance and the hot sunshine of the 8th of May on Helston Flora Day. <laughs> What do you think of they ads? When they look gorgeous. Look at she. Wouldn't call King George her uncle, she wouldn't. <laughs> Hark to that band. I can't help it. Always makes me cry. Because like thousands of Cornish all over the world, if I can get home for Flora, well, that's handsome. in May. Flowers everywhere. All the people covered with flowers, the houses, dancing. Elston, Flora dance. What a day for romance. Do you know, they'd say you can find romance in Paris in April, but if you really want to find romance, you come to Elston in May, like these folk I've met here today. Maud and John, are you uh, 
You found a bit of love in Elson, didn't he? Yes. How long ago was that then? 51, 51 years. years. Yes. What was she doing, John? Well, she was falling off and... Um, falling I, off what? Yes, <laughs> off the Noah's Ark. Yes. And you offered to I forget which animal she was on. Yes. It wasn't very high. Yeah, and you offered to hold her hand. I studied her. And you've been holding her hand ever since? Ever since. See, so that's what else is doing for you. Eh? Yeah. And you two, now let me see what happened to you two. You was, uh... Well, I was up in the chair planes. Up and, fear, um, Yes, and he twisted the chains around. No, kept twisting the chains around. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I had the double around. twist. You had the double twist? Yeah. Well, he's a Greek man, isn't he? So yeah. they like that over there. Yeah. <laughs> and now let me see. This is Nigel, and this is... Kim. Kim, yes. Now, of course, you haven't been going so long as the others, have you? No. <laughs> how long? Four years. Four years been dancing well, You together. danced in the flower today, yes. didn't you? Yes. But Nigel, you never danced, did you, in the no, flower? No, I didn't. How come? I was playing football last week, sprained oh. my ankle. That's right. But you danced last year, didn't you? That's it. And you got engaged last that's year. That's right. Okay? <laughs> so that's what flowers do for That's right. Well, there was these two. Now, you were supposed to meet, weren't you? Now, where were you supposed to meet? At the bus station. <laughs> <laughs> and you walked straight past us. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think you were looking for a bit of new for you. <laughs> Could have been. <laughs> but that's what Elston Flower is, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> Once I met a boy in Helston on the end When the streets were full of dancing and the town was so gay And he took me everywhere and we visited the fair And that night I let him kiss me in the dark Then we used to go out walking by the lonely shore When the wind was in the east and still the ocean was And he held me very bold just to keep me from the cold And we did a lot of kissing in the dark, dark, dark Then one night he came to tell me he was going Well, that he could not say. So I laughed as I said I'd find another boy instead. But he couldn't see me crying in the dark, dark, dark. Now I know I should forget him. Now he's gone from me. For he didn't really love me. That was plain to see. But I walk along the shore where we used to walk before. And every night I'm crying in the dark, dark. Now, see here, this funny carving. Now, that's Dando, that is. And those sausage things. Well, there is dogs here in St. German's Church. And that's to remind us of how easy it is to go to the devil. Because it's amazing how often the devil crops up in Cornish stories, you know, and everybody got their favorite. How the devil leapt or slept here and playing his fiddle or his pipes and getting into the cream and the butter, turning people to stone. Well, I never come across this one about Dando before till I came here in the spring working in Cornish schools and I met Mr. Davis, the headmaster of St. German's County Primary School. And he told me the story. Well, of course, the children here, they, they know the story all along. But we thought how nice it would be if we could 
bring Dando back to life. So the children got busy making and painting all sorts of things. Richard Gendel, he wrote a song, and I'm going to tell the story. And this year, Dando was a monk, but he was a very bad monk, because all he ever wanted to do was to cuss and swear and drink and go on to him with his horse and hounds, not lead a life of prayer in St. German's Priory like all the good monks. Now, this Sunday morning, Dando was down to Earth Barton, hunting as usual. And coming back, he wanted still more wine, and he cursed his poor servants because they had no time to prepare more for him. More wine, he said, more wine. Go get me some from hell if you can't find any here. Whereupon, a dark stranger stepped up, and he offered his flask. And Dando grabbed the bottle, and he drank it all up. Immediately, he fell to the ground, cursing and swearing, oh, he was in some tear. Well, then the stranger, who, of course, was the devil, jumped on Dando's horse, pulling Dando up with him, and with all the hounds running behind, yelping and baying, off they went like lightning down to the river liner and disappeared. And they'd never been seen from that day to this. Some story, Anna. Now Dando was a monk and a pretty bad too. He never would behave as a monk ought to do. While all his brethren went to church to pray, he'd be riding with his hands down to the Water wouldn't do for a thirst so fine For all his servants, t'was more than they could do To be bleeding of the vine for an extra chill or two A stranger dark and tall pushed his way from among Come take a drink of mine, cried the stranger her sly And Dando seized the flask and he drained it dry Then like two fiends they backed for the grave Till Dando with an oath from his horse fell away Stranger sore and set the sorry monk on the saddle before, and down the hill they galloped like the wind till the waters of the liner they gathered in behind. century, a Plymouth chemist was visiting a Cornish works to prescribe some medicaments, and the men there told him the best thing for an upset tummy was the powder from the white rocks upon the moors. Well, that chemist was William Cookworthy, and the white powder was decomposed granite, china clay. 
Since then, China clay has become Cornwall's greatest export and, of course, vital to our economy. Some years later, in a letter to a friend, William Cookworthy said, It's now near 20 years since that the ingredients used by the Chinese in the composition of their porcelain were to be got in immense quantities in the county of Cornwall. The materials from this place make a body much whiter than the Asiatic and, I think, full as white as the ancient chinaware or that of Dresden. Well, the principle behind the process of the production of china clay remains the same as in William Cookworthy's day. Naturally, there have been great changes in stepping up that production. And who better to talk about the changes than Ern Gay, who has spent his life in the china clay industry as his family and his father before him. Now, Ern, the differences between the production of clay when you were young and now must be quite great. Oh, the main difference was uh, the fact that it went from manual labour into the machine. The power motors and big lorries, everything mechanical. The uh, clay was washed out in my day with the uh, hoses, which was gravity. Gravity fed? Gravity fed. Today, it's the big uh, monitors, which uh, the nozzle is three times as big. Where we used to load it with the uh, wheelbarrow and long handle shovels, you know, into the trucks for four and seven a ton. Oh. Nowadays, it's all done with a machine into the big trucks and the big lorries, and well, life is much easier. Now when you started, what was you, 14 years old? Yeah. What was your first oh, job? Oh, cattle boy then. You cattle boy? You started as a cattle boy. What was that job? In the, well, the cattle boy in the lodge. Yes. It's called, but there's a cattle boy in the canteen. See? You do about a couple of years of that. What did you have to do? Oh, warm the pasties, get oh. the tea, <laughs> run errands. You were the lot. Were they fussy it, about their pasties then? Well, some of them. Yes? Some of them, uh, not too hot. No. Others again, don't burn the <laughs> pasty, you know. <laughs> now, after Kettle Boy, uh, well, you're 16 years old, you move on then a bit, suppose. Move on then, you're promoted into a tool boy at the time. Oh, what was that? You go down and fetch the tools from the pit and get them up to the top of the blacksmith shop to get you sharpen the picks and some would break the shovel with sticks, you know. and. And, of course, you all had to have a lot of method. Oh, the oh, methods yes. of bombs. Yes. If the way it was clear, we'd dump them on the skip yes. wagon and they would take them up. Like what was that all saying you told me about in clay? What oh, they? well, what the head does lack, the feet must trot. <laughs> think right. you've used that in many other things as well. <laughs> That's right. Well, then, of course, later on, I suppose you had to take a man's job then. Well, you're 18, you take a man's job yes. and you stand with the other men then. Like, and the sort of men that you had to work with, they were... Well, tough and strong yes. and... Uh, yeah. But they weren't good malicious then. people, were they? Not at all. No, no. Not at they all, They liked to no. good... Well, they liked Firm. to work hard and they could Firm. play hard too, couldn't they? And they used to bring their families up that way too. It's a good industry to work for still. Oh, perfect. Yes. 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 It's not really got the same um, dire risks as, say, mining. No, no. Every safety precaution yeah. there is on the works it's today. Taken, yes. And it improved as... Yeah. Time went on, like, you know. And who better to sing about China Clay than Travisco Male Voice Choir, backed by St. Austell Town Band, Clayports. She
that full unit. I think that's the only sunshine we're going to see today because it's just starting to rain. We're over in St. Mary's in the Isles of Scilly for the uh, start of the gig race in the first one of the season. Some excitement here, but before the kickoff, I'm going to go down on this here boat and have a yarn with Garfield Ellis because he'd know all about the gigs. Um, <laughs> of course, it's low tide. i got to get down there, their steps. Want a bit of ballast, do it? <laughs> Oh, a bit slippery, these steps. Well, I'm Harbour Masters there. <laughs> Got my red <laughs> Now, you hold on on that side. I'm on this side. Now, which way do I go? Down there. And there. Now, where's Garfield? He's up there. Oh. Now, Garfield, what exactly is a gig? Uh, well, as far as we know, it's a six-oared rowing boat. Six-oared? Yeah. And there's no difference between a silly gig and any other? No, no. As far as we know, they're yeah. all the same. New key, all these silly ones. And what was their original use? The original use was a, used as a pilot boat I in see. the old days, when the sailing boats were going forth and back, you know, from America uh, or anywhere. You aren't going to tell me that they never done a bit of smuggling on the site as well? Well, I don't know. As I say, I wasn't in, around in those days, so... <laughs> I've heard yarns that they did. But well, I've heard all about the brandy and tobacco and tea that they used to bring in. I Actually, so, over yeah. Newland, we just say that the silly islanders will sell their granny. Is that right? No. Can you get believe nothing in for Newland, people, you believe anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we know what they're like. So what exactly was the piloting then? Well, the sailing boats used to come to the islands <laughs> and uh, the boats were used to take the pilots to the sailing boats and yeah. the, the first one there had the pick of the boats. Yes. Uh, the bigger the boat, the more the money they got. Yes. For, of course for they the always pilot. needed pilots because the, the waters around here are so treacherous. Well yes, they used yeah. to pilot them into the islands or yeah. up yes. the English Channel yes. or anywhere really. And of course they were also used as, as uh, salvage boats and for life saving. Oh yes, well, they? yes, yes. They, they've done a lot of life saving. They were the forerunners of the lifeboat as we know it today. Yes. Yeah. So when did this year gig racing begin then uh, Garfield? In 1963. Oh. Oh, yes. Two chaps uh, borrowed one from the New Key yeah. back in 1961 or two, just for a carnival here. Yeah. And so it's, that's, how it started. that's how it started. And now it's every Friday, Friday night throughout the season. Yes, yes. weather permitting. Yes. Night. And when you have a crew, do you stay with the boat or do you, do you I mean, well, you know, the, like the shower, do you always row for the shower or do you change over? Well, normally the off island people keep the same boat every yeah. year. Who do you think is going to win? night then? The first boat. <laughs> you can't catch me out. Okay. Come on, Teresa. Come on. Come on, Teresa. Silly and a harbour. Silly lies to win, work to win, work to win, work. Silly lies to win, work to silly and a harbour. Dip the yarn, pull her and pull her and pull her. Dip the yarn, pull her for silly lies ahead. Cut the water cleanly, so cleanly, so cleanly. Cut the water cleanly for silly lies ahead. Pull the gig to win, work to win, work to win, work. Now pull the gig to win, work to silly and a harbour. Silly lies to win, work to win, work to win, work. Silly lies to win, work to silly and the harbor. Meet the waves so bravely, so bravely, so bravely. Meet the waves so bravely, for silly lies ahead. Skim the bill of lightning, so lightning, so lightning. Skim the bill of lightning, for silly lies ahead. Pull the gig to win, work to win, work to win, work. Now pull the gig to win, work to silly and the harbor. Silly lies to win, work to win, work. Silly lies to win, work to win, work to win, work. Silly lies to win, work to silly and the
Well, that's it. Been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Well, I've enjoyed myself. Hope you have. I've only got one song left for you now, and that's Boy Jan. And for me, Boy Jan is every Cornishman all over the world. Cousin Jack's, Boy Jan's, and my own particular Boy Jan, Jan Guavis. That's grandson number two. Well, I'm back now to join that lot over there, because there's still plenty of passes and cream left. Wonderful boy, Jan. You make my heart beat faster whenever I see you. And when you smile, I lose my defense. Should I close my eyes whenever you go by me? When you go by, boy, Jan. I should but hope that if that boy were by me, it should be you, boy Jack. 